Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we'll be talking about the warning signs of low oxygen in the blood, medically known as hypoxemia. Low oxygen levels can occur for people with heart disease due to a reduction in the blood flow to the heart muscle, abnormal heart rhythms, sleep apnea, and a variety of other reasons. Oxygen is essential for our body to function properly, and low oxygen levels can lead to serious health problems, including organ damage, cognitive impairment, and even death in severe cases. Beyond the health implications, these symptoms can significantly affect a person's quality of life, making it difficult to perform daily activities and reducing the enjoyment of life. So, it's important to know the warning signs and take action as early as possible. In this video, we will be discussing 5 warning signs of low oxygen in the blood and providing detailed information about each one. But before we dig in, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so you can live a long, healthy life. And stick around to find out how to get two heart-healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Okay, let's get into it. Number 5. Shortness of Breath One of the most common warning signs of low oxygen in the blood is shortness of breath. Shortness of breath occurs when you feel like you are gasping for air or struggling to breathe. This occurs because the body is not receiving enough oxygen. When oxygen levels in the blood are low, the body's cells and tissues do not receive the amount of oxygen they need to function properly. This can happen due to a variety of reasons, such as lung disease, heart disease, or high altitude. The feeling of shortness of breath is not just a subjective perception, but rather a physical response to a lack of oxygen in the body. This response is controlled by the brain, which receives signals from chemoreceptors in the blood vessels that detect changes in oxygen and carbon dioxide levels. The brain then sends signals to the respiratory muscles to increase breathing. If this is the case for you, your doctor may recommend oxygen therapy, which involves breathing in oxygen through a mask or nasal cannula. Deep breathing exercises can also help increase the amount of oxygen in the bloodstream. Techniques like diaphragmatic breathing and pursed lip breathing can be particularly helpful, but it's best to only start doing these with medical guidance, so ask your healthcare provider if they may help in your case. And you can find other lifestyle tips for fighting or preventing heart disease in our other videos. Number 4. Confusion Confusion is another symptom of low oxygen in the blood. When the brain is not receiving enough oxygen, it may not be able to function properly, causing confusion. You may feel disoriented or have trouble thinking clearly. The brain uses oxygen to support its energy demands and to carry out vital functions, such as neurotransmission, synaptic plasticity, and protein synthesis. Synaptic plasticity, for example, refers to the ability of synapses, the junctions between neurons, to change and adapt in response to stimuli. This is a key mechanism underlying learning and memory. Imagine a sculptor shaping a piece of clay. Just as a sculptor can mold a piece of clay into new forms, the brain can change its structure in response to new experiences and information. Like when we learn a new skill, our brain synapses undergo changes to strengthen certain connections. This allows us to adapt to new situations and learn from our experiences. And this all relies on oxygen. A lack of oxygen impairs synaptic plasticity by interfering with the energy metabolism of neurons. Without enough oxygen, neurons may not be able to produce enough adenosine triphosphate, or ATP the molecule that provides energy for cellular processes. This leads to a decrease in synaptic plasticity and impairment in learning and memory. Now, confusion can also be a sign of other health problems, including infections, electrolyte imbalances, 
and neurological disorders, among others. However, in the context of low oxygen levels in the blood, confusion can be a symptom, especially if other symptoms are present. Essentially, low oxygen levels impair the brain's ability to generate energy and perform basic metabolic processes, which are essential for normal brain function. Number 3. Headaches Like confusion, headaches are another warning sign of low oxygen levels in the blood. As we discussed, when your body is not receiving enough oxygen, your brain may not be able to function properly, which can also cause headaches. Headaches like this are usually dull and persistent, and may worsen with physical activity. Additionally, chronic hypoxemia can cause damage to neurons and their connections, further impairing synaptic plasticity and cognitive function. If you experience persistent headaches, it's important to consult your doctor. Whether it's due to low blood oxygen or something else, it's vital to get on top of as early as possible. Before we get into number two, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. I believe it's something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the list. Number two, rapid heart rate. Another warning sign of low oxygen levels in the blood is a rapid heart rate. When your body is not receiving enough oxygen, your heart has to work harder to pump blood and oxygen throughout your body, causing your heart rate to increase. This can be a sign that your body is trying to compensate for the lack of oxygen. It's like asking your heart to pump more and more water through a small garden hose. The heart has to pump more blood to deliver oxygen to the cells and tissues, and this increased workload can cause the heart to beat faster and harder, leading to a rapid heart rate. This increased workload can also cause the heart to enlarge over time, leading to further complications. There are several steps you can take to address a rapid heart rate and other heart health issues, which are well worth considering if you're concerned about heart health. Go check out our other videos, where we discuss various tips that are beyond the scope of this video to improve heart health and combat heart disease. Okay, here's number one. Blue lips or fingernails. Low oxygen levels can also cause your lips or fingernails to turn blue. If this happens, you should seek medical attention immediately. Oxygen-rich blood is bright red, while oxygen-poor blood is dark red or blue in color. When the body's cells and tissues don't receive enough oxygen, the dark red or blue blood becomes more visible through the skin, leading to the bluish discoloration. You may have experienced a somewhat similar thing when you were out in the cold for a prolonged period of time. This is because when the body is exposed to cold temperatures, the blood vessels in the skin narrow in an attempt to conserve heat, reducing the amount of oxygen-rich blood that reaches the skin. While that's not necessarily dangerous, blue lips or skin can be when it's in an everyday setting. This can happen due to a variety of reasons. So if you notice your lips or fingernails turning blue, and you haven't been out in the cold, seek medical attention immediately. So there you have it, five of the most serious warning signs of low oxygen in the blood. Shortness of breath, confusion, headaches, a rapid heart rate, blue lips or fingernails. Low oxygen levels can lead to serious health problems, and it's important to know the warning signs and take action immediately. If you experience these, seek medical attention. While they're not necessarily cause for alarm individually, it's best to err on the side of caution and take action. We hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment with any thoughts, questions, or requests for future video topics. And remember to get your two free gifts, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, and the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them. And remember to like this video and click the subscribe button, so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you 
Have a happy and heart-healthy day.